back with another video. I just want to watch this uh, clip here with you guys. It's from Pierre Polyev's uh, YouTube channel. It's called, Here's What Our Canada Can Be. So let's uh, have a quick look and then we will uh, talk about it after like you do. Are you going to try to reunite Canada instead of split? Yes, we are going to unite our country. We're going to unite uh, based on freedom. Freedom is our nationality in Canada. Unlike other countries that define and their nationality by ethnicity, race, religion, we define it by our shared and common freedom. Uh, the current government has, uh, uh, they follow an ideology that divides people into different groups based on gender, race, vaccine status, uh, region, uh, whether they try to divide business owners against workers. Uh, they try to seek any division they can in order to uh, make people forget they can't afford their rent. Uh, and uh, I think we need to put an end to that approach. We need to give everybody more freedom over their own decisions to live their own lives and chart their own course. Uh, I don't want to run people's lives. I want to run the government. Uh, I want to allow you all to make your own free decisions so that you can co co cooperate with your fellow citizens uh, to exchange work for wages, product for payment, investment for interest. You decide your religion your values, how you raise your kids, how you spend your money. We leave people with the freedom to make their own decisions. We have maximum harmony because nobody feels like they're being bulldozed over by anyone else. And that's the approach that I'm going to take to unite our country around our proud history and for uh, a future of freedom and opportunity. Thank you. Right. So, you know, again, he's saying all the right things, right? Like this is what Canadians want to hear for the most part, at least the ones with at least half of a brain, but you see how he's kind of pandering as a populist, right? And a lot of people don't like Pierre Polyev because they're pretending he's like Trump and all this garbage. Well, the one area where he does seem to be at least a little bit like Trump is the fact that he does pander to be to being this, you know, this right wing or right leaning populist, right? Trump did that in 2015, 2016 during his campaign. And of course, what happened? Well, he just became... Uh, conservative, right? I mean, he, he just, he lied, he pandered, said he was going to be a populist and, you know, help the working class, but didn't work out that way. You know, as we know, he didn't drain the swamp. He added to the national debt. Uh, he gave tax breaks to the rich. A, not great. That's not what a populist would do. That's what a conservative does. And I do understand that there, there's there's concern as if, you know, is, is Pierre Polyev actually this right-leaning or right-wing populist? Or is he just a conservative pandering as a populist to get more votes, to think that he's really Canada first? I don't know the answer to that. Again, I don't trust career politicians as they have a kind of a pretty big history of lying to us and just pandering to get their way. Now, he's still not going to be as bad as Justin Trudeau, so he's got my vote. I have problems with Pierre Polyev, and we can get into that in, in another video. But in terms of what he's saying right now, it, it is good. And the way he brings up the fact that you know, Trudeau is you know, dividing and distracting and you know, making people think that, well, look at all these other social issues, but they can't pay their rent and groceries are too expensive. It's almost like he does want Canadians to forget about that. He makes a very good point there, to be fair to him. Um, the, the thing I liked the most about this video was he was talking about restoring freedom. Now, after COVID, you, you can say, well, you got all your freedoms back. Right. But we know that Trudeau will happily take them away again if he has to. Pierre Polyev is essentially coming out and saying, I would never do that. Okay. I want to be in, in charge of the government, not your life. And I think that's a, a very great way to put it. Again, he sounds more like a populist or maybe even a little bit libertarian where he wants to essentially stay out of your life. Provide us with the you know essentials that government should be providing us, like paving roads and building hospitals, fixing schools, and having some social programs for those who are, you know, not able to work or, you know, they're handicapped in whatever way, whether it's physically or mentally. Other than that, though, stay the fuck out of our lives. That's what libertarians want. Okay, small government. Stay out of our lives. Let us choose what we want to do. As little as government intervention as possible. And I agree with that. And I hope that he means it. Again, just have a hard time trusting him. But hopefully he proves me wrong. And hopefully he proves a lot of people who are populists, who are independents or uh, libertarians, into, sh like, I hope he shows the uh, people like me that he's actually the real deal and not just some pandering conservative. 
Right? Like, that would be really, really nice. I'm not expecting it, but here's to hoping, I guess. And, you know, the first thing he said, too, in this video was he wants to unite Canada. And, again, that goes back to, you know, Trudeau's dividing and distracting. But, again, if he just provides the services that we need, put him, um, like, manage immigration, build, sorry, build houses, not just mansions, but affordable starter family homes so that people who are 25, 30, 35, even up to their 40s, 50s, who have no hope of buying a house, could buy a house. Or at least have the hope to. You, you have something to reach. Right now, it's like, okay, maybe if I get a promotion and work 70 hours a week, 10 years from now, maybe I could buy an old, overinflated house. I was that should be 300 grand. You got to pay six, seven, eight thousand, a hundred thousand for it. That's not hope. That's just, okay, I'm screwed. Where Pierre Polyev really needs to follow through with that and unite people and show the Canadian people that, you know, if you manage immigration, you build more houses, you cut some of these taxes, giving people their paychecks back again, Canadians in general would be wealthier, healthier, and happier. Right? The more money you have, generally speaking, the healthier you are. Of course, there's exceptions, but for an example, if you're broke and you're living paycheck to paycheck and you've got to go to the dollar store to get macaroni and, che and cheese or craft dinner, you're not going to be healthy for very long. Where if you have the money, you can go and you can you'll go to a butcher shop and buy your steaks. You can go and get organic vegetables, you know, and, and, but they're more expensive, right? You need more money to be healthier generally speaking. So I really like a lot of what Pierre Polyev had to say. Again, I just can't trust him. I got to see it with my own eyes. That does not mean I'm going to you know, not vote for him. I will be voting for him, but I'm also going to be holding him to a very high standard because he's talking a very big game right now. And if he doesn't deliver on these promises, I will be right here in this very room challenging those. And I know a lot of people who hear who listen to this uh, channel or watch my videos are conservative. I understand it's not an attack on you. It's just that we need to hold our politicians accountable. You got to remember, we are the employers. They are our employees, and we need to start being better bosses. Right? If we were better bosses, Trudeau would have never gone away with any of this horseshit. Because we would have kicked his ass out a long time ago. But we suck at being bosses. We give them way too much power, and that's got to stop. We got to start holding our politicians uh to be uh, to a much higher standard of accountability. That's 100% true. Uh, again, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. I always enjoy reading and the commenting back with you guys. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe. It really, really helps the channel. And I'll be back shortly with another video.